Well, good evening as always. Thank you for joining me on my channel. This is Fly My Phantom, in case you hadn't guessed. It's time to update the firmware on my Phantom 3 Advance. Now, I've done the firmware once before and it went quite smooth. Now, this firmware uh, DJI's released addresses a couple of issues, apparent issues, although I've had no issues with the quad in all the time I've had it. But it's also bringing into play this thing where you need to have the app connected or else you get limited in flight. I'll cover more of that later on. Okay, so let's go to DJI.com, the website, which we're at now. I'm going to show you how you find the firmware because, believe it or not, DJI seems to have made it a little bit difficult to find the firmware. You'd think it would be under support. Go to any other website. Support is where you get drivers, downloads, firmware, software, whatever you want. No, not DJI. They stuck it over here. Go to Drones. Go to Phantom 3 Series. Go to Advanced. And then if you just scroll down to the picture of the quad, you'll find this link here, Downloads. Why they put it there, I do not know. Let's click on Downloads. And you'll see now there's the firmware dated, I think this is the 6th of July or the 7th of June. Might be the 7th of June. It's, it's, it's not in the format that I use as a UK uh, person. Uh, it's either the 6th of July or the 7th of June, I don't know which one. Anyway, uh, and how to update the firmware uh, as a PDF. Now, I've actually downloaded the PDF. That's here. And uh, update guide. Now, it says you're using the DJI Go app to update the firmware. This is for standard. You'll notice it says up here standard. Well, I've not got a standard. I've got this from the advanced section, so really they should sort that out. Uh, okay, Inspire 1, uh, Phantom 3 Pro and Advanced. And it says, using the DJI Go app to update the remote controller. Uh, and then it says, if you inspire, there's below the same version, blah, blah, blah. To check your current version, launch the DJI Go app and tap through camera view, system set robot status. Then it says, using a micro SD card. Using a micro SD card tells you what page is. Okay, so, using the DJI Go app to update the remote controller. And I'm reading this now. You guys can read this yourself. It doesn't make sense to me. It just tells you how long it takes, uh, that you need to have internet connection and wait for the progress bar to reach and what the lights should do, not when the app you go to update it. I'm going to have to sort of mess around now to find, I mean, I'm assuming it's in there. I've never updated uh, the remote control through the app before. I did it with the uh, SD card into the USB port. Uh, so they're not very clear. Uh, no wonder people tend to have problems and then end up on forums asking why. Uh, and then use a micro SD card to update the aircraft and intelligent flight battery. Uh, does not apply to the Phantom 3 standard. Uh, so scroll down a little bit more, download the package, unzip and copy the downloaded files into the root directory of your card. Insert the micro SD card into the SD card slot on the aircraft. Turn it on and then wait for the d -d 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 sounds to finish. It tells you here. Seems pretty much straightforward, uh, apart from the uh, update the transmitter, uh, yeah, the transmitter through the app. So I'm going to launch my screen recorder, get the GoPro out, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. So the first thing needs to do is download the firmware. So it's going to click on this zip file, and I'm going to save it to my computer. It's not a big file; it takes a couple of seconds to download. Go to where you got it, and click to open and you'll see it's marked as I'm just drag that into frame it's marked as a bin file that one there so we're going to extract that and I'm going to put it into downloads and I'm going to call it p3a firmware and I'll do for now that's all I need to do okay extract from that let's just close that page down go to my Windows Explorer okay once you Windows Explorer Go to Downloads, and you'll find it there, P3FW. Now, that now has to be copied onto an SD card, which I'm not going to do. So as you can see, my SD card here is D, and I've got some stuff on it. doesn't worry about that. You don't need to worry about having stuff on it at all. Uh, you can leave your files on there originally. What you need to do is to copy it onto the root. So we'll do a Control and C to copy. Go to the D drive and do a control and V to paste it in. And there we go. That's now on the uh, SD card and it's now ready to be inserted into the Phantom. So let's take a look at that then. 
So, the first thing we're going to need is a fully charged battery. We're going to need the SD card we prepared earlier. And we're going to need the Phantom. Now you take the SD card and you pop it in the SD card slot like that. In it goes. Ugh. Now then it says you insert the battery and you turn the quad on. Now this is where it could all go horribly wrong and I could end up with a brick phantom. Fingers crossed I don't. So let's turn it on. Just going to bring the instructions back up on the screen for one second. Okay, so it says update, so power the aircraft to begin the firmware, they're not powering the remote controller, that's in the bag, so that's fine. The camera states indicator will become solid green and the aircraft will sound DDD when the update is complete. So what does it do whilst it's updating? You see, it's information like this that DJI needs to put in. Okay, um, we're going to run the upgrade. Yeah, uh, one, two, three. Quad starts up does the normal thing and you can see the little green light is flashing and it's now gone steady there we go we now got a red light flashing on and off oh it's going dirt 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 like that okay so how long is this going to take well we'll sit here until it's done okay so the uh Upgrade is now finished, uh, but I'm left with a flashing red light on the camera. Not quite sure, the instruction manual doesn't say anything about flashing red lights, just green lights, solid lights, etc. Fortunately, part of the upgrade process does produce a text file. So let's take that out of the quad and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the text file and see what it says. I believe it's the bottom line. Um, upgrading result success, it says. So we're going to upgrade the firmware on the controller. So we tap on Download firmware there, and it's downloading. Okay, so your remote control has now been upgraded to the latest version. Turn the controller back on. Restart the quad. Plug in the cable and tap on DJI Go. And I've got my signal back. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I'm done. That actually was... A lot, a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's have a look. Uh, aircraft battery, aircraft temperature, gimbal status, no SD card. Um, somewhere it should tell me the um, firmware version, I believe. Is it going to be in there? Or in the bottom one there. Uh, app version 3.1.11. Aircraft is now on 1.11.20. Remote control is on 1.9.2. Uh, I've got live feed. There's the live feed there. Hand shaking, hand shaking in front, rotate it round. That was it. Um, I'm done. A uh, little bit of a worry moment, uh, but other than that, everything's now back to working as it should do. Now, I'm going to do an IMU calibration and the compass calibration as well before I fly it again. Uh, I'm going to be out in the field on Saturday or Sunday, but I'll do a calibration uh, inside the house and we'll let the quad cool down first and then we'll run the IMU calibration. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, next video coming up hopefully soon. I might even show you how I do my IME calibration. Um, rather novel way with a piece of glass and um, a spirit level. Anyway, gotta go. Fly my fan soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Oh, don't forget, fly safely. Well, quick addendum to the video. Uh, I said I had a flashing red light uh, and the reason was the SD card. I had a 2 gig one in there. It was happy to take the firmware from it, but it didn't like it. I kept getting the message in the DJI Go app that it was a corrupt, uh, corrupt SD card and to format it. And it would format it, but it just kept coming up as a corrupt SD card. So don't use a 2 gig one. If you are going to do this upgrade, uh, get a decent quality one.